In today's video, we're gonna be testing and reviewing the brand new Hinkle's Hexagon pan set that comes with the eight, the 10, and the 12 inch pan. And we're gonna be testing them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner style cooking. So I hope you guys enjoy the review and let's get into it. Hey guys, my name is Josh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the brand new Henkel's Hexagon 3 set pan. So you get an 8, a 10, and a 12 inch pan. So you get the egg pan. You got, you know, a big enough pan for cooking hash browns, browning hamburger, cooking pancakes, something like that. And I want to review these. Um, I did a last review on the older style ceramic coated pans from Henkel's. And I've had these for about two years. They're great. And personally, I've always wanted to get those hex clad pans that I see Gordon Ramsay promoting so much, but for $350 or $300, depending on where you get them, it's kind of a hard pill to swallow. And I picked these up for $80, so let's just cook various things on them. Let's test them out and let's see how they work. I'll give you a review from just somebody who likes to cook dinner at home for his family and for himself. I usually cook about two to three times a week. Figured this would be just a good review since they're brand new for YouTube for everybody to check out. All right, let's do some cooking, guys. So the thing I notice is the handle, the stem itself, has the little V design. That's to keep the heat from transferring into the handle and keep it cool. And as far as the bottom, the bottom's a full stainless steel. What I think I'll do is I'll cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner over the course of about a week so I can give you guys various examples of how these work. But just with this pancake on here, it, uh, you can tell that the pans are pretty slick because it moves around pretty easy. And my temperature is a little high. And let's come over to the egg. So the egg is sticking a little more than usual. Usually I can break it through with my other Hinkle's pans, and then I can't even get that to flip. I wanted to try another egg at higher heat to see, and yeah, it uh, they definitely stick. So I figured since the avocado oil didn't work, I would do a second test with the egg pan with butter, and you guys can see I haven't even loosened it up or anything with a spatula or utensil or anything. It's just direct good lubrication, so let's go ahead and flip it. Perfect. So yeah, use butter, don't use the avocado, avocado oil, that fixes the issue. It's ready to eat. Perfect eggs. Making some tacos tonight. Let's try it out on ground beef. See how they do. Far so good, nothing sticking. So this lid is off of one of my other pans. It's a T-fall lid and it fits perfectly on the 12 inch pan. So that's what I usually use to help keep things uh, cooking a little bit better and keep the heat in. So when we do burritos, I like to use the organic raw uncooked flour tortillas. So we're gonna try these in one of the pans with no cooking spray and see how they do. Got a nice simmer going in there. So this pan worked excellent for the tortillas. Nothing stuck to them without any spray or anything like that. But we are ready to plate up and eat. And as far as meat sticking to this, there was no sticking at all. Everything, you know, I'm perfectly satisfied with the performance of this. It's equally as good for cooking this type of stuff as their older style ceramic coated pans.
Mmm. Family burrito night success. Julia, are you making yourself some dinner? What's the secret ingredient to your secret ingredient burrito? Salsa. What is it? Salsa. Salsa. Okay. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I try to make these videos as an everyday average consumer, just like you guys on the other end watching. And I try to give you guys an honest opinion to whether something works or not. These videos aren't sponsored. I just buy all this stuff myself. If you want to help support the channel, leave me a comment, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like these, right? Browning some chicken breast here for dinner and it works good for that. Nothing sticking. This is just using the avocado oil. See that's cooking everything nice and good. Ready to add our teriyaki sauce. This is all done. Let's plate it up. So the scrambled egg test, very good. They don't stick at all. So definitely a good pan for that. I'll finish these off. Let's finish up the bacon, see how it flips and if it doesn't stick. So far, very impressed. Nice easy flip. Nice golden crispness to it. Looks like it cooks a little hotter in the center than it does on the side. Yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. So yeah, breakfast test is good. Scrambled eggs is good. Over easy was eggs do good with butter. Bacon's perfect. And uh, as far as cleanup, cleanup's good. Nothing really sticks to the pan. Mmm, crispy bacon. So delicious. Mmm. After a week of cooking on these, I am perfectly happy with them. They're a great design pan for 80 bucks. They work fantastic. I definitely would recommend them. I'll put a link in the description for Amazon where we picked them up online. That's going to wrap up today's video, guys. This is already getting pretty long. I hope I give you guys some good examples of how well these can cook. And we have... You know, the hex style new Hinkles pans. I've got the old ceramic ones. If you haven't seen the if you haven't seen the review on those, I've got a I'll put a link in the description down below for you. If this video can hit 100 likes, I'll do some more cooking videos. I'll do searing of a steak and maybe do the hash brown video that I wanted to do. Just kind of as, as more examples. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. 